Hello everyone, we are Paula and Leigh and we are from the University of Pennsylvania. We are presenting an authoring tool final project, the Fashion Transformer. As we can see in these pictures, one piece of clothes can look very different in bodies of different shapes. With our authoring tool, we simulated the same effect by changing the size of the chest of the target model. As we can see with the results, our tool is able to fit the garment to a diverse number of body shapes. So, what is our main objective? It is to automatically transfer a garment from a rich body model to a target body of different shapes and size. Fashion Transformer could, for example, be used in the fashion industry as well as in film and animation, where it enables 3D artists to speed the modeling process. The input of our tool is a garment that can be chosen for a garment closet menu or be imported by the user. The body shape we want to dress can be modified by the user as well to obtain the output, a transferred fitted garment mesh. Our tool is able to fit multiple pieces of clothes and export them to the Maya Enclo feature for clothes simulation. And it's also real time. We developed our tool in Visual Studio using the Maya C++ API and the multiple classes it offers, such as the Node class. The algorithm is based on the secret paper designed for serving garment transfer. It has two main steps, the proportional scaling and the optimization part. To achieve proper scaling, we find the reference pairs of each garment vertex and use an offset vector to obtain the desired position of the target garment. To achieve better results, we use multiple reference pairs in certain regions of the body. Step 2 minimizes the energy to obtain a more relaxed and design preserving model. These four images show the flow of the algorithm. Picture 1 shows the input of our tool and image 2 shows the target model modified by the user. Step 1 is shown in picture 3, and step 2 can be seen in the last image. Even though we did not achieve a satisfying result for step 2, the garment is more relaxed, which is the main point of this step. Next, we're going to show a video that shows the flow of our tool and how an artist would make use of it. Hello everyone, I'm a 3D artist and today I want to dress a group of people wearing the same clothes. My problem is, could I dress all of them in a fast and easy way to save some time? The answer is yes! I can use a fashion transformer authoring tool that can pretty much do all the work for me. That sounds awesome! The tool is really easy to use. As soon as I run it, the body is shown in the screen, as well as the user-friendly menus. I can, for example, change the size of the thighs of the body that I want to dress, or maybe the hips, also the arms, or the belly if I want to make a pregnant woman. I think today I wanted to dress a pregnant woman with a little bit of hips, less thighs, and big arms. Maybe more thighs. Here in the garment closet menu, they offer me five basic models that I could use. I'm going to use pants, I think. I can connect this to my body and let's see how it looks. Hmm, it looks fine, but I think I'm gonna change a little bit of this less belly. No, maybe more belly. And however, I don't want to use any more of these clothes, so I think I'm gonna import my own garment. The other day, I modeled this really cool, cool shirt, so I'm gonna use this one. Let's connect it to our body and let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks great. And you know what's awesome about this tool? Is that I can actually import my upper garment to Maya and Cloth. Let's see. Let's make the animation a little longer. And let's play it. Well, that doesn't really look like what I wanted. I may have to change some parameters, but let's do that later. Thank you for watching and we hope you like the Fashion Transformer. Easy, fast and fun.